when was the moment you realized, OMG, I'm a mom? Um, when my baby came out of my vagina, I think. Um, it was shocking. I wasn't expecting it. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm a mom. Hi, I'm Sharon Horgan, and this is what's in my box. So this is um, a picture of myself and Rob Delaney's legs. <laughs> and it's a promo shot from the um, fourth season of Catastrophe, and it was from the last scene of the last episode of the last ever Catastrophe. So I feel emotional when I look at it. As our kids in that car there, they've been locked in with no air. Sharon decides to, she wants to go swimming. They've just made up. She's just told them she's pregnant. Sorry, just spat. And he already knew, because he found her pregnancy stick in the trash and he realized it wasn't, um, it wasn't his mother's. But he's, he's cool about it. He's like, you know, let's do it. We've been on this adventure together. Let's have another adventure. And she gets a bit, um, Frisky and decided she's gonna jump in the water. I, I took my dress off. That was hand. That was handmade for um, the finale. I was so angry with myself that I wrote a scene where I had to take my dress off, <laughs> and I forgot to do exercises. <laughs> so I was really oh, angry. Um, so I jump into the water, and and he's calling to me, and he notices that there's a sign saying, you know, warning, sort of rip tides. So he goes in after me, and I and I say. Uh, I thought you weren't gonna get in, and he goes, I didn't like seeing you out there um, drifting on your own. And then Arcade Fire started, starts to play, the suburbs continued, and uh, it was the greatest ending to a show ever made. Okay. So this is um, from the premiere, the London premiere of uh, Bad Sisters, and there I am with my, my brother and my actual real life sister. And it was a really uh, wonderful night. I had my, my parents there, and you know, all cast, and friends. Out of your siblings, who would be the best murder accomplice? Uh, my, my brother, um, Bruiser Horgan. Yeah, my younger, younger brother, Mark, he's a psycho. I could rely on any of them to murder for me, actually. Part of the reason why it was so wonderful writing the Garveys and writing Bad Sisters, because I just sort of tried to capture what it is to be in my large family. I've got two brothers and two sisters, and, uh, and we would all definitely, uh, if not kill for each other, at least um, punch a cheeky barman. What did you want to be when you were a kid? I, I think I always wanted to be an actor, but I went through a stage of wanting to be an artist as well. I went to art college and um, I just was really not good enough. Um, I told everyone in school that I wanted to be a hairdresser because I, 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 I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I did cut my little brother's hair for for a little while. I quite like the power of you know wielding a scissors. What's your theme song as a mom? Um, Frightened by Animal Collective. Are you gonna sing it or no? No, I'm not gonna sing it. What's a recent fail as a as a mom? My daughter got her um, phone stolen and. I ordered her the phone, but forgot to order the SIM card to go with it. So now she thinks I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> this is a picture from the first um, season of Catastrophe, and it's myself and Rob Delaney and the beautiful, wonderful um, Carrie Fisher, who played Mia, who was a kind of, um, you know, mother-in-law from hell. I'm looking at her with so much love, um, I can't, just couldn't sort of believe that she agreed to be in our show. It's the first series and, you know, we think she thought maybe, maybe she made a mistake. She just turned up. She wanted a bit of a break in London and do a bit of antique shopping and, um, and thought, fuck it, I'll just, you know, do this show <laughs> while I'm there. But we absolutely loved her and she came back and she did um, two more seasons. And then we, um, you know, we had her um, give a eulogy to her in, um, season four, because she was no longer with her, where she got to badmouth Mike Pence from Beyond the Grave. So we feel like she would have loved us very much for that. This is um, Thomas Hayden Church and Sarah Jessica Parker, both double-barreled names. We made sure that both our leads in the show had two names. And that is uh, from the first season of Divorce. That particular scene is um, in New York. And I really love this picture. I like the, I like the way they're um, sitting apart. 
It was really exciting. It was my first ever, you know, um, US show. I'd made a ton of pilots. I'd made so many pilots. After I made Pulling, uh, you know, um, US networks came knocking and were like, you know, make a show with us. I was like, yeah, I'll make a show with you. I just made tons of pilots for years and nothing got picked up. And then, um, and then divorce got picked up. And there's never any big plan. Genuinely, I think it really is just what I'm interested in at the time or, or what I'm experiencing or the kind of relationships I'm in some of the time or the ones that my, my friends are in. So it really is just what sort of is inspiring me at the time and what, what feels like a, you know, um, a good sort of kickstart area. And, and, I, and I like um, combative relationships. Um, they're much more fun. It's lovely to write love. Um, but it's more fun to watch people really going at each other. Favourite comfort show to watch? It's probably... Um, well, I'm watching this really terrible show at the moment called Married at First Sight. Um, I can't take my eyes off it. But my comfort shows are Friends. I watch it on the loop and Modern Family. And Modern Family, I, I just, I just love every single person who's in it. I mean, clearly, it's in, it's great writing, and they they do that thing where they manage to appeal to everyone, which I think is you know genius. But I just want to be friends with all of them. Oh, so this is another lovely picture, and it's of the Friends cast. Who are you most like personality-wise? Out of out of this bunch of um, beautiful people. I mean, none of them. <laughs> I'm really genuinely not like any of them. Um, I love watching all of them. Um, every single one in that cast is incredible. Um, but no, not a single trait do we share. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done as a, as a mum? Every single day I embarrass my kids. I don't know why, because I really try to play it cool. And then if I play it cool, they think that's embarrassing. Um, I, I'm desperate them, desperate for them to, to you know, want my company, uh, and they just don't. And um, so I, I don't know what the most embarrassing thing is. It's just, uh, just all of it, all of it. What show did you last watch? Um, I last watched uh, The Dropout with Amanda Seyfried, and she just blew my mind. She's so incredible in it. The story is so good, and it made me want to, um, you know, make a show like that through my production company, Merman. When was the moment you realised, OMG, I'm a mom? Um, when my baby came out of my vagina, I think. Um, it was shocking. I wasn't expecting it. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm a mom. That night in the hospital um, it was <laughs> amazing, best night of my life. It was when all the nurses went away and my husband <laughs> off, and it was just me and my baby, and it was, you know, genuinely the best night of my life. It was wonderful. I was like, oh my God, I'm a mum. That's it. Um, and that's what's in your box. You can throw your box. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I, you don't I, have to. Okay, I'm just gonna put it there. <laughs> I'm just gonna put, just All place, right, place it. Favorite um, comfort show to watch? It's probably. Um, you don't have to show that one. <laughs> you moron! You don't have to show that, you moron. What show did you last watch? I last. <laughs> What show <laughs> did you last watch? <laughs> I, la I don't care about that. Is Catastrophe ever coming back? I'm just asking personally. No, oh, no, that's well. it. We're done. You guys should leave. <laughs> it's like, that's why we're here.